Hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost again and in this brief video I will talk about bridge design and about bridge design in that sense that I use InfraWorks 360 at preliminary design phase and then I would like to continue in Civil 3D so I will show you how to export your data from InfraWorks 360 to Civil 3D actually it's a common way to do it whatever information you want to share to Civil 3D user so that uh, in Civil 3D you can continue with detailed design. In InfraWorks 360 I already have a project that can be shared with Civil 3D user and I have used for preliminary bridge design InfraWorks 360 tools that are all included with a InfraWorks 360 package and perhaps my new preliminary design is all about um, showing a new bridge corridor over the river and if I use InfraWorks 360 tools I can build a preliminary bridge that consists of two bridge components like cares and bridge tech and so on and at some point I may want to include that data on my section views so my main interest is to export this data so that it can be opened or imported in Civil 3D. I also show you how you can use Civil 3D tools to create a bridge from scratch but let's do an export first so once I'm satisfied with my new corridor that includes also a bridge so as you see it's just a simple corridor model over the river and I want to export this into Civil 3D so I go to utilities and I use export IMX and uh, I can use define interactively meaning that I may choose polygon or PV box and I export everything that um, belongs to some area once I have exported it I can then go to my civil 3d and I use 2017 in this video and I also have installed bridge modeler so a separate module for subscription customers but before I talk about bridge modeler I will import my InfraWorks 360 design into Civil 3D. Before I do that, of course, I open up a empty Civil 3D drawing. I also check that my new drawing has coordinate systems that I would like to have. So drawing one and edit drawing settings. And because I'm using a model from Estonia, I pick country as Estonia and also coordinate system. Okay, apply and okay. Now I'm ready to go to insert tab and using InfraWorks 360 tool to include InfraWorks 360 model into Civil 3D. I open InfraWorks 360 model. I just navigate to my exported file that's in IMX format. So if you don't see IMX straight away, you may change your files of type instead of SQLite. That is a native InfraWorks database format. If you have exported your project into IMX, you first have to choose files of type IMX and I just open it. Because my coordinate system is same in Civil 3D as well as in InfraWorks 360, everything is fine in terms of my coordinate system. I also want to limit information I want to see in Civil 3D, meaning that I'm interested about design objects only and I can also refine selection set, meaning that I will include only existing ground, also design road. This road 7 is a main road over the river and I also ensure that my bridge is coming through. I hit OK and open model 40 entities. It will be quite light project but good enough to show general workflows how you can bring in InfraWorks bridge into Civil 3D and later on to continue with Civil 3D tools to make detail design. Okay, I have a existing ground surface. As you see, it's a river area and I also have a bridge. This bridge consists of 3D solids. So 3D solid is a common AutoCAD object. 
So if I just click on one particular object, I can see that my properties shows 3D solid. Because I want to show you how to use Bridge Modeler, I want to hide my InfraWorks bridge. But uh, of course, if you want to show this bridge at your section views, you can do that as well. And uh, later on I show you, because uh, with Bridge Modeler, I will create also a bridge based on Bridge 2 components. And what do I get? I get uh, 3D solids again. So the same workflow applies post cases. All right, I go to Home tab and maybe use Layer Properties and create a new layer. Maybe I call it IW360 and Bridge. I also hide it away, straight away. Now I just select one component, right click and select similar and include all those objects onto IV360 bridge layer. Those objects are hidden. I may have some extra objects like those mesh objects. I select also those, maybe right click and select similar, three mesh objects and I include those onto InfraWorks layer as well. I now have quite a clean preliminary design coming from InfraWorks. So I do have an alignment and who is my alignment? I also have profile. So it means that if I want to create a civil 3D corridor model, I need to define my assembly. While I create my bridge in InfraWorks, I assumed that this bridge is starting off and ending at some location. So I can show you also directly from InfraWorks 360 model. I can see that my bridge starts from 260 right now, but I can use a start station, for example, some rounded off value, let's say 240. And also, where does it end? Let's check that. In here, we have 549, but maybe it's 560. Of course, if I change my bridge layout, I need to re-export it to IMX. But uh, in my earlier export, I have done it already. So um, I just quickly showed you how you can change your bridge design to round it off values. I then concentrate again to my Civil 3D workflow. I have my alignment here. I go to top view. Before I can actually start Bridge Modeler tools, I need to create a corridor model. And to create corridor model in Civil 3D, you need to have some assemblies. So basically, I'm creating some standard assemblies to represent my road corridor model and also my bridge area. And later on, I use Bridge Modeler to create create a true bridge based on true bridge components and I simply dismiss my bridge assembly to an empty assembly. I go to home tab, I use assembly and create a new one, create assembly. I name it as road, I use default style values, okay. I just uh, include my new assembly somewhere to the left hand side. I now hit control 3, meaning that I get two palettes and I build a really simple road assembly using basic tab and using basic lane. I build it on the right hand side so I include basic lane I also include basic curb and cutter and to connect with my existing ground I use also basic side slope cut ditch I include it here now I simply select all those three components and from my ribbon tab I mirror I pick my mirror line and I have my default road assembly of course I can change my road lane width it's a simple parameter that helps to recreate your your corridor model also but I will leave it as it is simply it's 3.6 and this side also 3.6, so 7.2 meters altogether. I create also a second assembly that represents my preliminary bridge using corridor features. Once again, I pick assembly, create assembly. I call it bridge. All styles will be default. Hit OK. I include this guy down below. And from bridge tab, I just pick bridge box girder, include it in the center, and maybe just 
just uh, checking that my left and right clip are the same or generally close to for example 3.6 and maybe in here also 3.6 all right so i have my default bridge assembly i create one assembly more and it will be my bridge empty after i have used bridge modeler tools i want to hide away my bridge assembly so bridge empty okay and i just include assembly center line okay i now close my tool palette i zoom out a little bit once i see my alignment again i can now start to build my corridor model i hit corridor i now name it as road one for example i pick my alignment called seven and profile called seven also so those namings are coming from infoworks i pick my default assembly as road and also target surface existing crown i also want to divide my main alignment into different pieces meaning that in the middle i have a bridge and starting off and ending with a standard road corridor model so set baseline and region parameters i hit ok and now i have my baseline and region parameter style as you see my main alignment is about one kilometer in length and i want to divide it into three pieces meaning that i have road bridge and road again i can easily do it but of course i need some understanding where to cut my alignment if i go back to my info works and uh, if I select my bridge I can easily see that my bridge is starting from 240 and it ends at 560 so in general I want to use the same values in civil 3d but it's up to you if you want to make a more detailed design then you maybe have some other values or maybe you want to change in detailed design how long your bridge is but I will use those values so I go back to civil 3d I right click my road and selecting split region if I do that I can now start to split my alignment so I want to make a split from 240 and the next one I would like to have at 560 I now hit enter and I should see now three different regions and each and every region may have different assembly in our case I use at first and at last section road assembly but in the middle I want to use bridge okay those split regions are also used in bridge modeler so it's again needed step to build my true bridge of course there are different ways how to do it and uh, one way is to create separate corridor models for your bridge and for your road sections it can be easily done if you just uh, copy your original alignment and then divide it or remove those pieces that you don't need in one corridor model and keep only those that you want to have but right now we used a workflow where we use only one alignment and we do those divisions or regions okay once we have our split regions i hit apply rebuild the corridor and hit ok as you can see i do have my road corridor that is connected to existing crown and i also have a bridge representation for example if i change my viewpoint i can see my bridge based on assemblies but of course i want to see now a bridge that consists of two bridge components as we saw at the beginning from infraworks 360 so for that i use bridge modeler and this is now a separate module that is available for civil 3d subscription customers it has been available for a while so it's not just for 2017 but also available for earlier civil 3d versions once you have installed it you have a separate tab where you can select which kind of bridge you want to create at the moment i pick bridge concrete slab with curtis so i left click and now i see a simple dialog it assumes that you have created your corridor model first so if you don't have any corridor model you can't use bridge modeler once you have it 
you just pick a corridor because you may have several corridor models you just uh, pick the correct one and then if your corridor model is divided into separate regions you can now select that specific region to where you want to place your true bridge so it will be 240 up to 560 i also want to use terrain profile and i hit ok once you do that you get a bridge definition dialog and in this dialog you may hit OK straight away and you will get a preliminary bridge and later on you can change your bridge components parameters or you can add or dismiss some components for example you may start from some number of pairs and later on you may want to add some or remove some so i hit ok and my first version of my bridge will be built in my civil 3d session and it is based once again from bridge components that's a true value of bridge modeler that your bridge looks like green and this bridge is is now created based on 3D solids. For example, if I pick one component in here, it's called 3D solid. So it's the same object as we saw that came through InfraWorks 360. But in here, we also have those tools that we can start our title design in Civil 3D. Of course, I can use similar workflows also in here, selecting one component, right click and select similar i can see that i have 405 bridge components that brings up my full bridge but if i want to now change my bridge layout i can do that using the same tool from bridge modeler tab as i used before instead creating a new one i just hit edit bridge and it doesn't really matter which component from that bridge you pick just pick any 3d solid it understands that you want to edit your bridge and uh, here we are we have the same bridge definition as we saw at the beginning and for example you may do some changes in terms of superstructure or substructure you have different components you can change those parameters according to some standard you want to use or have calculated in analysis software package those components can be changed one by one or you can also include or add remove those bridge main components for example as i can see i have 15 pairs right now but let's do a simple example so that i remove some of those i select that row and hit remove maybe i want to have only five pairs please remember that uh, typically we need to calculate those in infoworks 360 there are some standards in place so if you change or create a preliminary bridge it assumes some standards in civil 3d you can add and remove those components based also on some particular standard i just arbitrarily remove some pairs you also can change the location of that pair so station value can be rounded i mean by default for example it's 264 but maybe you want to have the first one at uh, 260 and then maybe the next one at 300 and maybe the next one 340 and so on so maybe 400 maybe 450 and the last one maybe 500 so if you do those changes in terms of pairs or text roadway areas and so on if you click ok your bridge will be calculated again now i have fewer bridge components because i remove some of those but i still have my bridge layout based on bridge true components if you have your bridge design in civil 3d ready to present to a customer you typically also want to include those bridge components onto section views I can do that as well. At first I create some sample lines and after that section views and then finalize my section views with bridge 3D solid components. I just go to top view, find my project area. I go to home tab. I use sample lines tool. I pick my one and only alignment. I then pick what data I want to sample. I want to include road and existing ground. So that's fine. I hit OK. 
OK. And I then select that I want my sample lines appear by range of stations. And let's use default values 20 meters. I hit OK. I just click on my model and hit enter once more to specify station additional parameters. And I have my sample lines in place. Now I can use my section fuse tool to create multiple fuse. Select alignment, it is 7, the only one. We have recently added sample line group that is by default called SL Collection 1. I can change my stylings later on. I then simply click on Create Section Views and let's go on the left hand side and include my section views. Okay, I will also change my visual style. I go back to do the wireframe and if I zoom in a little bit, I can see my surface profile line and also my road corridor model. But I also would like to see a bridge itself because at the moment I can see a bridge assembly, but I would like to see actually my true bridge, meaning that with bridge components. For that, I go back to my corridor model. I select my corridor model. I then go to corridor properties. Now select parameters and I swap my original assembly bridge to bridge empty. OK, apply and rebuild the corridor. I hit OK. If I now have a look to my profile views again, those section views that shows me area where I should have a bridge. Those are now empty and I want to include my bridge made with bridge modeler and the same workflow applies if you want to include InfraWorks 360 bridge onto your section views because I don't want to have both appearing at the same time. I want to ensure that my bridge layer is also frozen. So not just hidden, but also frozen. Once I do that, I can go to Home tab. I pick Section Views. And now I want to select Project Objects to Multiple Section Views. Select it. I have to select my Section View, whatever you pick, it doesn't matter. I have my Section View Group, Section View Group 1. I then concentrate at the lower part. So I want to include only solid objects and I want to use object elevations. So only solids. I hit OK and in a second I should see my bridge appearing also on my section views. OK, perfect. Well, as you see, we have included also some labels. I may delete those right now and maybe later on I can add those again. But right now I just want to show you that uh, from 240 up to 560 I have my bridge also on my section views and with all valid components that I created with Bridge Modeler. Once again, the same workflow applies for InfraWorks Bridge. So it means that uh, if you want to show your InfraWorks Bridge on top of your section views, you don't have to use Bridge Modeler at all. You simply follow the same workflow as I showed in here, but you just reopen this layer where you have your Bridge components and Project Objects to multiple sections section views and select solid objects again. All right, that was it. In this video, we started from InfraWorks 360 model. We then continued in Civil 3D and had a look how you can continue in Civil 3D using an alignment and profile line from InfraWorks 360 to create a actual corridor model. And after that, how to divide this corridor model into different regions so that you can easily use bridge modeler tools inside Civil 3D and later on to include that information also onto your section views. Try it yourself.